the whale was Moby Dick, yet playful as a pug. Bigger by far than the whale, they say, that swallowed Jonah up. What a whale of the whale was Moby Dick, yet playful as a pug. Bigger by far than the whale, they say, that swallowed Jonah up. Later that day, Ishmael and Quigquag took their meager belongings and boarded the Pequod. There they heard the chief mate Starbuck, who was busy loading supplies for the long voyage. Careful with those crates of butter. The cook will have your hide if you break those crates. And make sure you don't leave anything behind on the dock. We're getting ready to sail. Sir, my name is Ishmael. Uh, I have signed with Captain Peleg for this whaling voyage, though I have sailed in merchant ships. Fine, fine. Welcome aboard. Uh, who, who's your friend? Oh, his name is Queequag. Uh, he's come from the South Seas. He's a harpooner. Uh, he has made many voyages, uh, but he does not speak English too well. But does he understand it? We can't risk his not understanding commands at a crucial time. Oh, I understand thee. Okay, okay. Go below, Mr. Stubbs. Our second mate will show you where to put your things. Uh, then come back up and help us with the loading. Oh, wait. Let Queequeg take your things. And you stay here with me. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yes, sir. Well, there's one thing to keep in mind on board this ship. Whaling sailors don't think that sailors in the merchant marine are good enough to serve aboard whalers. And they'll make fun of you if you bring it up. You look like a strong youngster. And you can probably handle yourself pretty well, but but there's no use in starting trouble if it can be avoided. Yes, sir. I'll remember not to bring it up. Good. But being so young and so inexperienced, I think it would be only fair that I ask you some more questions, uh, more questions than Captain Peelig did. He is anxious to have this ship sail, and therefore not too particular at the last moment about taking someone without too much experience. Do you know how we go about catching and killing a whale? No, sir. Well, do you see those small boats that look like lifeboats hanging up on the deck? Yes, sir. Well, six men row each of those boats out to meet the whale. In each of the boats, there's a harpooner. Your friend, uh, Queequeg, is a harpooner. Yes, sir. Sometimes a whale may be just floating along or just swimming slowly, in which case it is easy to get near them to throw the harpoon. At other times, we must row with all our might to catch up to them before we can attempt to capture them. Is it very dangerous? <laughs> Not if you follow orders and don't get panicky. And that's where experience pays off. Have you ever seen Moby Dick? No. No, I haven't. But some of the men have. They say he's like a leader for all the other whales. And he often charges the boats when they try to attack other smaller whales. Do you think we'll see him on this voyage? Well, I've been on voyages where we stayed away for three and four years before coming home. It all depends on how lucky we are. Maybe we'll see him and maybe we won't. And when you see Captain Ahab, don't be frightened by his size or appearance. And avoid looking at his leg. Instead of a wooden one, he had one made out of the jawbone of a whale. He said a whale took his leg off and a whale gave him back one. Well... Oh, here, here comes Captain Peelig. Uh, welcome aboard, Captain Peelig, and Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Starbuck. And you too, Ishmael. Merry Christmas to you, Captain Peelig. Could you uh, leave us alone, uh, please, Ishmael? I have something to discuss with Mr. Starbuck. Yes, sir. Has, has Captain Ahab come up out of his cabin yet? No, sir. Then you actually haven't met him yet, have you? No, sir. Well, well, no matter, no matter. Uh, you remember all the things I told you about him, do you not? Yes, sir. Uh, how moody he is and uh, <clears throat> how careful you will have to be to protect the men from his, uh, his moods. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. Well, you may not see him for days at a time if he retires to his cabin, so do not hesitate to take charge and keep things going smoothly. I understand, sir. Uh, and pay particular attention to young Ishmael. I needed an extra hand before we sailed, but he's never been on a, a whaler before. Yes, sir. Uh, I just had some conversation with him, and I think he will work out very nicely. Uh, did he tell you about his uh, voyages as a, as a merchant sailor? 
Yes, he did. Did you tell him to keep quiet about it in front of the other men? Yes, sir. I particularly stressed that point. Well, 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 Merry Christmas again, uh, Starbuck. Uh, by the way, my, my sister sent you over a couple of extra Bibles in case any of the men would come to you for them during the voyage. Thank you, sir. And say thank you to your sister, too. I'll be sure to let the men know they are available. And don't worry about Ishmael. Uh, well, I'll be leaving. Uh, I'd hope to wish Captain Ahab a Merry Christmas, too, but uh, when you see him and, and he's in the right mood, say I stop by to wish him a Merry Christmas. Goodbye, sir. <laughs>